Okay, I'm Simon and in this video I'm going to show you how to move the camera around in Tinkercad. So, first of all I'm just going to drag a cylinder onto the work plane so we can move around it. So, first of all, first way to move, and the most common, the one I expect you'd be using the most, is by holding down the right mouse button. So if I do that, then I move around my mouse and you can see that the view and the camera on the work plane changes. So that's the first way. The next way is still, well not the next way but another way of moving around is using the scroll wheel. So this zooms in and out like this. And if you press it down as in press in the scroll wheel you can see it pans around. You're able to drag and move around the work plane or your creations. So next part I'm going to ask you to look up here at this box here. You can see as I move around this cylinder the box moves. So this box is like a representation of what you're looking at but you can also use it to move around. So if I click here you can see that it whoop, there you go can see that it moves to this position if I click um, top right it moves to the top right position if I just go to the top see it just takes me to the top position so when you're on a position like a flat surface you, this pops up so what this is this is moving to the next flat surface so this is going to take me to the front this will take me to the bottom and this will take me to the back so, if I just click there, go back to the top, you can see these two arrows. So this rotates your work plane 90 degrees. So if I'm on, let's say, the back, and I rotate it, you can see that it turns like that. So, the next thing is when you're at an angle and you want to reset your view, you need to click on this button here, the Home View button. So if I click on that, can see that it um, takes me back to this view. So once you're here you could just still move around as normal and if I'm zoomed in right and I want to go back to the home view all I need to do is click this button. It takes me back to the home view. So for the next thing I'm just going to move this up here and then I'm going to drag a box there. So there, this button here is fit all in view. So when I click on this, it zooms out so I can see everything. So if I had the cylinder here, I, and I wanted to fit all in view, since it's smaller, it's not as big, it's just smaller, if I click on it, it actually now zoom in on the, those two objects. So the other way of doing it, if I just drag this back up here, is if I select the object then I go here it has this option fit view to selection so if I click off fit all in view but if I click on it, it says fit view to selection so this means that when I click on it as we would see now whoop, clicked off it there it would zoom in to what I have selected so at the moment since I've just selected the cylinder it zooms into this but if you've got a creation so let's say a cylinder with a semisphere and a pyramid nice and, and I'm over if I select all of them then it's going to zoom in to all of them so that's that and then for the next part I'm just going to move these onto the work plane reset the view go to home view and I'm going to move this stuff on the work plane so the next part is the view mode so at the moment we're on something called perspective view so we can change that to orthographic view so if I click on that you can see that the view changes and it looks a bit different so I'm gonna I'll just say now that I don't and Aiden don't really like the orthographic view cause, partially because we're so used to the perspective view and partially because we both think it think it looks a bit funny so in all our tutorials and challenges, we're going to be using the perspective view. So you can switch back by just clicking this. 
So there you go. So that's it for this video and either Aiden or myself would see you in the next one.